Welcome to part one of Taja's Cabin. This mini-series is going to be about the building of a player house mod for Skyrim Special Edition. And as the name indicates, it is going to be a log cabin. But not just any log cabin. This is going to be a custom-built log cabin. You see, there are a number of buildings you can use that are available in the creation kit. And the ones that come closest to, you know, log cabins are what's in Riften. So you've got buildings like uh, the Blacksmith, the Orphanage, and of course Honeyside, and a few others. But I didn't really like any of those. They were either too big or too small or weird shape or design. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to build my own. But I'm not going to be using uh, those architecture pieces. I'm actually going to be building it from the ground up with logs, one log at a time. And yes, there are actual logs, standalone logs in the creation kit. And I'm going to be using those to build this thing from the ground up, one log at a time. But I'm not starting on the exterior right now for a couple of reasons. One, there is a lot of work to do on the interior. And secondly, I've not decided where I want to put it yet. Now, I've narrowed it down to two locations. And this is one of those. We are on the south shore of Lake Illinolta. And you can see the, uh, I think that's the Lady Stone right there. And there's Lake Illinolta, or Illinolta's Deep across the way. If we take a look at the map, you can see where we are. There's Fall Creek to the south, Half Moon Mill, Guardian Stones, Rifton, uh, Riverwood. I always want to call Riverwood Rifton. It's kind of insulting to the folks at Riverwood, isn't it? Uh... But anyway, here's where we are. A very scenic location. This is like my most favorite area in Skyrim. So this is one of the one of the spots. Very very scenic location. And let's go take a look at the next spot. And here we are. We're on the top of a little hill, just outside of Riverwood. You can see it right down there. It may look a little different to you. I have expanded towns and cities installed. Very cool mod. If you haven't looked into it. Uh, if we take a look at the map. We can see exactly where we are. There's Riverwood. There's White Run. And uh, this is a really nice location as well. You got a nice, real nice view of Riverwood. Not Riften. Riverwood. There's Throat of the World. You can see High Hrothgar from over there. Got a nice view of the White River and the waterfalls. And the view, if you don't walk off the edge to the north, you can see all of White Run from here. Well, the city anyway, not the entire hold, but there it is, dominated by Dragon's Reach. And uh, there's High Hrothgar. So, very scenic location, but also, it's a very practical location, because if you're looking to uh, buy and sell items, you run down the hill, you're in Riverwood in 30 seconds in that direction, you run down the hill in that direction, and you're in White Run in about one minute, so you have quick and easy access to a lot of vendors. So... You've got nice scenery here, and uh, it's got practicality for it. So I haven't decided where it's, I'm going to put the house yet, but it doesn't really matter because there's still a lot of work to do on the interior. So let's go take a look at the interior right now and see what all has been done. So right now I've just been working on the basement. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. This is the first floor. I put the uh, COC marker right here where the door is going to be. So uh, this is what we're going to have. This area is going to be a kitchen. It's going to be a little dining room area over here. And our living room. I've got some uh, fireplaces here. I haven't decided which one I'm going to go with yet. But I'm leaning towards this one right here. I think it will look good in a rustic log cabin. 
you can see the walls I'm building right here. I'm using these logs right here. Ignore the mannequins and the other stuff floating out here. This is, uh, these are pieces and parts that I may use. Um, I may or may not use. They're, they're out there if I need them. But uh, I'm taking these logs and resizing them and then just stacking them one on top of the other. And that's how I'm building my walls. The window I'm getting from a wall piece that's from uh, the Riften architecture. But since I not I'm not really crazy about that architecture, I'm building my own, but um, I'm trying to incorporate the window. It's a little bit tricky, but that's a story for another day. And again, there's a bunch of other pieces and parts that I may end up using, so they're just sitting out here if I need them. But right now, we're going to go take a look down in the basement and see what all has been done. So we'll start down here in our smithing area. First, I'll have to uh, take a look into here. Right here is a trap door. This takes us out by the bridge where we started at the moment, but that trap door is, is going to move. What this is going to do is going to take us outside on the side of the house where the wood chopping block is going to be. And there's going to be a wood pile like this one outside that I'm going to make into a container. And I'm going to make this into a container and link the two. So that way, if you chop a bunch of firewood, you can deposit it in that container up there. And then uh, anytime you're down here and you need firewood for making arrows or whatever, uh, you can just come right over here and grab it. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to go through a low door again. Uh, it'll all be right here. So it's my my goal is to make this house as convenient as possible. There's going to be a lot of link storage. It's not going to have a, a cloud storage and auto sorting because that's that's getting a little beyond my expertise uh, as far as modding goes. But um, but there is going to be a lot of linked storage. So we've got a tanning rack, workbench down here in this dresser. There are some blacksmith's aprons, shoes, and some gloves. So if you want to enchant stuff with uh, fortify smithing, you got some stuff to work with right here. And it's you know blacksmith's apron. Why not? And we've got just some random uh, tools that you might find in a workroom. And I got some Dwemer scrap metal laying around up here in the shelves and stuff. It's just random clutter. That's uh, I'm not very good at, at cluttering, decorating. I'm better at just building stuff. So it's, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I couldn't think of anything else here. And I, I wanted to put something on those shelves. So I just put some Dwemer stuff. Right here we have our custom armor storage. Fully functional. And our custom weapon storage. Fully functional again. Statue of Zenith, or Shrine of Zenithar, excuse me. Zenithar is the god of work and commerce, so I figure that would, was fitting here in the armory. And just some random helmets and uh, shields up there. Again, it's all static. Our grindstone, and this odd-looking thing is our custom smelter. Functional, of course. Warrior stone, that governs smithing, so if you want to get that extra boost, you've got it right here. Convenience, again. Uh, this is all static stuff. It's just, again, just decoration. We've got an anvil and a quote-unquote custom forge. Uh, actually, the forge, all the forge work is being done by the anvil. This is just here for looks. The, uh, the actual forge was a little too big for here, so I just made my own. And we've got our crafting supply storage right here. Very convenient. Little water cooling trough I, I, I guess that's what it is and uh, yeah got some sawdust on the floor and a couple of cut beams and you know saws and hammers things you would find in a kind of a workshop atmosphere so that's everything in here over here we have our alchemy setup uh, we've got a lot of static random ingredients scattered on the table and some books and stuff uh, these you cannot pick up or move. It's by design, so you know they won't get, be getting knocked around. And we've got our custom ingredients container, fully functional. And we've got our custom potions and poisons container, 
I don't know what you call it. I guess it's a container. Fully functional, of course. This was, uh, I, got a, <laughs> I got a little uh, crazy here. This was actually only, only originally, it was only going to be about half this shelf with that stuff on it. But I got a little carried away and thought, oh, well, you know, what's done is done. So, and of course we have the Thief Stone right here, which governs alchemy. So, again, convenience if you want to get that little boost when you go do some alchemy. It's right here. Metallo Shrine. Eh, why not? Little Nocturnal Statue. These shelves is just random clutter. Uh, most of the stuff on here is related to alchemy or enchanting in some fashion. Or magic. So, yeah, I didn't know what to put on there. So, just random clutter. And this is our enchanting area. Uh, we've got our custom soul gem container right here, fully functional. This is uh, a wardrobe container, and this one's going to be linked to ones uh, upstairs on the first floor and the one in the player's bedroom. So if, for example, you're in the bedroom and you have some, some articles of clothing, maybe some unenchanted robes or hoods or gloves or stuff that you may want to enchant sometime, you can put them in the wardrobe upstairs and... If you're down here, it's linked so you can access it from here. Uh, those ones upstairs are well. There's <laughs> there's one of them sitting through the floor, but they're not they're not hooked up yet because I haven't started on the upstairs yet. I want to get the, the basement done first. There's our custom enchanter, and we've got our custom container, scrolls, notes, journals, and over here is the custom jewelry container but as you can see uh things are a little out of place here these items you know I, I made them static like i did with the soul gems and the books and scrolls and all those bottles but these things for whatever reason will not stay in place you can see they're they're floating in the air right now they're not even on the plate anymore i don't know why these keep moving nothing else absolutely nothing else is out of place ever my, I've been in here dozens of times and checked on this. Not a single bottle or ingredient is out of place. It's only these things. So I may end up replacing this with a strong box because this just looks sloppy. Anyway, we've got our mage stone right here, which obviously governs enchanting. Again, convenience. Little mage statue and our mage banner. And some skulls with uh, gems in their eyes. I think this one's got garnets and out. Those two have uh, diamonds in their eye sockets. That's something I did with Morrowind, so I thought I'd try it here too. And just a little bit of, you know, some some books here sitting out here. These are static as well. You can't pick them up. Now this bar, I may be taking this out and putting the staff enchanter over here, but this one I don't think I'm going to use because it is, it is absolutely hideous. This looks like something that uh, some Forsworn on a drunken binge put together. That's just my opinion anyway. Uh, I may make a, a custom staff enchanter and, and put it right here. And this area under the stairs I'd like to make into a, a just a broom closet because, you know, every house has a broom closet somewhere. So this area, aside from my uh, jewelry stuff being not cooperating, this area is uh, this area is done. The crafting, the smithing area is done. The alchemy alchemy area is done. This area is done again, except for that, which I may remake. And over here is the armory. This is still uh, this is still in progress. So there's going to be a, a few changes here, a few things added and moved or removed so but this is basically the setup i'm going for but again some things uh may get changed may get moved around and um yeah and i i i don't have the the uh the mannequins are are hooked up and and working they're functional but most of the weapon plaques except for i think that one are not uh hooked up yet and I've been having a lot of trouble with the weapon racks. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about that right now. But this is the area that's still work in progress. I, actually, this is the last area in the basement that needs to uh, be done. And here's our little vault. 
the coin purses and the gold and silver bars are not static. You can pick them up. But they look so good in here. Why would you? Uh, the stuff on the top shelf is static along with these two helmets and the Warhammer also static. And, of course, we have a safe because, you know, it's a vault. you got to have a safe. Right now, I just have a bunch of weapons in here I've been using for testing the weapon holders out here. Now, there's uh, a little set of stairs right here I put in. You may wonder why. Uh, two reasons. One, uh, the portcullis here. If I were to lower this so when it goes down, it, it drops down to the floor level, there'll be a big gap across the top and it would just look stupid. Because right now, it goes right up to the top. That's one reason. The other reason is because I always wanted a gem pit. You know what a gem pit is? A gem pit is a room that's, you know, a small room or a room with like a sunken floor where you can drop stuff and it, it won't go anywhere. It stays in, it stays in that little room. And I always wanted, because I, it's like every playthrough I end up with just dozens and dozens of excess garnets and amethysts and, you know, plenty of other gems. And I always, I always wanted to just have one small room where I could just dump those things and see how big a pile of gems I could get. And uh, the stairs here keep them from rolling out into the other parts of the house. So, that's it. Gem pit. It's a thing, I'm telling you. Gem pit. Still a lot of work to do, but uh, it's coming along really well. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, I guess next time, hopefully, we'll have the basement done and we'll have uh, some of the first floor outfitted. So that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, stay tuned. More updates to come. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Things are coming together uh, pretty much exactly as I had planned. I've got diagrams and stuff written out of what's going to go where and how the layout of the place is going to be. So uh, everything's falling into place pretty much uh, like I'd planned. So I'm very happy with it so far. Very happy. So until next time, take it easy and I will see you for part two.